Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back on this lovely sunny morning and we are about to continue our One Troop Troll Challenge inside of this episode. For anyone that's new to the channel, the One Troop Troll Challenge is very, very simple. Basically, we have to pick four troops, so I've decided to pick the Baby Dragon, the Miner, that new level 7 balloon, and of course the Wall Breakers. I know guys, it's insane. And basically what we have to do, we have to make an all Baby Dragon army, an all Miner army, an all Wall Breaker army, and of course an all Balloon army. And each one of those troops has to attack Sherbet Towers. Now all we're basically doing is we want to see which one of these troops is going to kill Sherbet Towers in the quickest time possible. Remember, we aren't allowed any heroes, and we aren't allowed to use a single spell. So of course I like to get you guys involved inside of every single one of my videos. So what I want every single one of you guys to do right now down below in that comment section, take a guess which troop is going to win this challenge. Is it going to be the new baby dragon? Will it be that new miner? Will it be the wall breaker? I'm kind of feeling the wall breaker guys. Or will it be those new level 7 balloons? Let me know down below in that comment section. Comment hashtag baby dragon, hashtag miner, hashtag wall breakers, or of course hashtag balloons. I can read the future, guys. I can feel it. I can feel it coming. It's going to be those wall breakers. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to gem ourselves the rest of these baby dragons. And then, of course, we're going to take the first troop into the uh, the Sherbet Towers to see what goes down, guys. So there we go. We have an all baby dragon army ready. Now, remember, they are completely maxed out. They are level 4 baby dragons. we got 24 of them locked and loaded. So let's get ourselves into Sherbet Towers. By the way, guys, just before I do forget, we are almost at half a million subscribers. We are at 497,000 subs. So we will be doing the 14,000 times 3 gem giveaway tomorrow. So it's going to be tomorrow, guys. We will hit half a million subscribers tonight. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if this is the first time you are seeing it. So we're going to attack uh, using these baby dragons. So here we go. Here we go. So we're actually going to take it on from, uh, from this side of the base here. And we're going to be using a little bit of a spread on these baby dragons just to make sure we can actually try and rage them up so are they gonna rage up no the ones we wanted to rage up haven't raged up let's just chuck them all in guys we're in a little bit of trouble here let's see guys so it is a race it is a race against time so we are gonna see how many seconds it takes for these baby dragons to take it down in fact are we even gonna be able to take down the base we're getting wrecked these baby dragons are getting completely destroyed by these air defenses. Here we go. We're up to 28% so far. Not looking too good. Baby dragons kind of getting wrecked by those first layer of air defenses. But we've made it through. We are taking out those gold storages, guys. When they're not raged up, they really are so damn weak. Now, there is only going to be one rule inside of this video, guys. We have to spam every single troop into this area here. So we're not allowed to use any strategy. It has to be a complete troop spam. So they've only got 48%. Wow, I was expecting a three star and we only got 48%. So we are going to end it there. Now, I will be writing and recording every single one of the times at the end of the episode, guys. So we will confirm which troop has won by the end. But next, we are going to be taking in those level seven balloons. So let's go back into the, uh, the barrack here and let's build ourselves some of these level seven balloons. So I was completely shocked there. Those baby dragons really kind of, you know, just got wrecked. When they're not raged up, when they don't rage up themselves, they really don't do too good, guys. So here we go. We got the uh, the balloons ready. We have 48 maxed level 7 balloons. I reckon this is going to be the quickest 3-star you are ever going to see on Sherbet Towers. Let's see what happens, guys. So once again, you're only allowed to spam them into one side, guys. So here we go. Going to spam him. Ooh, 48 of these level 7 balloons. Let's see how quickly they can do this. There we go. Check it out. It is a balloon parade coming in. And there is no way that these defenses are going to survive. Here we go. Look at them go, guys. Look at those level 7 balloons go. Now, we could actually get wrecked by these Wizard Towers. So let's just wait and see what happens. Wizard Towers has already connected onto my balloons there. Don't kill me, Mr. Harry. Do not kill me. Here we go. We've made our way into the center of the base, guys. The rest of the defenses are going down so slowly. But those Wizard Towers are doing an insane amount of splash damage to the level 7 balloons. Hopefully, we're going to be up to 3 Star Sherbet Towers. Come on, we are about to lose a small pack of them there. Look how many of them are about to go down, guys. Check it out. We are losing quite a few of them there. But don't worry, there is only one Wizard Tower left on the other side of the base. And then after that, it's just a cleanup job. So here we go, guys. It is like watching snails race. These balloons, so damn slow, but so damn OP. Damn, this Wizard Tower's got some special powers, guys. So there it is, there it is. So now it is just a race against time. It is literally going to be taking out these buildings ASAP. This is going to take some time, so we will be back in a few moments, guys, once the uh, the balloons, hopefully, have cleared out the rest of the base. 
So for anyone that's still watching, go downstairs, go make yourself some dinner, go get yourself a drink, come back in about 25-30 minutes and the balloon should hopefully be up to 90%. This is the only thing I really hate about the balloon, so damn slow. But imagine if they could move as fast as like goblins. It would be insane, it would be overpowered, but it would be so damn hilarious. So they're about to take out that gold storage guys, up to 82%, all that's left, one, two more gold storages, we've got the town hall in the center. Two elixir, uh, two elixir storages on that side, two elixir storages on the other side. I know loads of you are probably watching this thinking Tony's absolutely crazy wasting all of this loot. But you know what guys, it's all for fun. So if you haven't commented already, if you haven't taken a guess, which troop is going to win the challenge? Will it be the baby dragons? No, not really guys. I think they've already failed and already lost, haven't they? Will it be the balloons? I kind of doubt it because they've taken such a long time. Will it be the wall breakers, the biggest underdog ever? Will the wall breakers win the challenge? Yes, guys, it's going to happen. The wall breakers are the secret troop. So as I was saying, we are at 497,000 subscribers and we will be doing the half a million subscriber special tomorrow where we will be doing a face cam and giving away 42,000 gems, guys. So don't forget, if you do want the chance to win, all you have to do, leave a like on this episode to show some support to the channel and subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with the giveaways and the winners. It is your final chance to enter, guys. The giveaway will be live tomorrow, as I said, iTunes, Android and PayPal. So here we go, it's time to get ourselves the next troop. We are going to go for those miners, guys. Now, bear in mind, all the other troops are maxed out, but the miners are only level 2. But we're still going to use them because we ain't going to back down. We aren't going to surrender, guys. So here we go, we have the miner army ready. There are no spells allowed once again. Now, if we beat 48%, then we beat the baby dragons anyway. And if we can, uh, if we can beat the balloons, take it down and beat the balloons time, then the miners will be winning. So let's get ourselves back into Sherbet Towers. 48 of these miners. Once again, it is going to be a troop spam, guys. Let's just spam these bad boys in. Here we go. Here we go. Miner power. Miner power. Go, miners. Go, miners. There we go, guys. All of them spammed inside of the base there. Let's see what we're going to be able to do. Damn. They took down those first layers of defenses so quickly. Check it out. Now, I am scared. I am scared of those wizard towers once again because it looks like they're just going to splash damage the hell out of my miners. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong. What's going to go on? Here we go. We have reached that wizard tower. Oh my god, guys. It looks like the miners are crucifying the other troops inside of this competition. This isn't even a joke. These miners are so damn OP inside of Sherbet Towers. It is ridiculous. Look how quickly they've destroyed this base. It's going to be one of the fastest three stars I have ever seen. We've already made our way onto the Goblin Hearts. There it goes. Wow. Okay, now I did not expect that. So the miners absolutely ripped those other troops apart. That was so damn insane, guys. But now we're going to go in for the final troop, of course. There is still hope that the miners aren't going to win. Who's ready for it, guys? It is going to be 48 of those level... Uh, what is it? Is it 48 of them? No, no, my bad. It's going to be like 120 of them, I think, of these, uh, these wall breakers here. So let's see what the wall breakers can do. So we're just going to gem ourselves the rest of this army, guys. So there it is. Let's see what we've got inside of our army camps. 120 maxed out level 6 wall breakers. Now, I know loads of you are saying, Tony, why are you using the wall breakers? It's not really even a troop. We're just going to do it because it's fun. So here we go. It is Sherbet Towers time. We are ready, guys. 120 wall breakers. Let's use, uh, should we use the Grand Warden with the wall breakers to see if we can keep them alive? Or should we just go now? Let's just go for it. We're going to do a, a double finger spam here, guys. Let's see what happens. There we go. Dropping in 120 of these wall breakers into Sherbet Towers. Where are we going to go? How much percent damage are we going to get? we got 0% so far. There they go, guys. Running through the base. This is insane. Insane gameplay by General Tony. Here we go. Where are you going? Whoa. Whoa. You just missed the walls. Why did they just do that? They literally just ran straight through like 20, 30 defenders. I mean, I really don't get it. But you know what? It was awesome. And they got 0%. So I guess the baby dragons kind of beat them. And the wall breakers came in last place, guys. So for anyone that doesn't realize yet, the miners are the winner. The, the uh, what is it? The level 7 balloons came in second place. The baby dragons, way, way worse than I expected. I was at least expecting a 3 star from them. But 48%, one of the biggest fails we've seen, guys. And then the wall breakers... Yeah, they just kind of sucked, didn't they? But they were the most fun. So this is going to be where we are going to end the episode, guys. So don't forget, as I said, if you want the chance to grab yourself a chest of gems, $99.99, 14,000 gems, iTunes, Android, and of course, PayPal. No matter where you are around the world, you will have the chance, guys. All you need to do, leave a like on this episode right now. Subscribe to this channel right now. And of course, click the first link in the description box. Literally click that link and hit that enter button and you will have the chance to win 
we will be doing the uh, the half a million subscriber Q&A face cam and of course the gift card giveaways tomorrow guys so make sure you stay tuned to the channel I am not sure when the first live stream is going to be coming but it should be within the next 24 hours hopefully I just need to ensure that I've got the correct setup so that my uh, my live stream doesn't completely fail for anyone that's wondering we will be making two new clans one on COC and one inside of Clash Royale when we do the live streams I will invite you to come and join the clan guys and you are going to be able to attack me. You will be able to battle with me. It's going to be absolutely awesome. So this is going to be the end of the episode. I will see you in a few hours time just as usual for the second one guys. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet but it is going to be something absolutely fun. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. I will see you shortly. Have a great Monday guys. Love you all. Thank you so much for the recent support. Peace out.